Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Um, I've been asked to tell you a little bit about part of my story really. Um, I'd like to share about a little bit about um, my story from about nine years ago uh, when I was feeling very lost and very lonely, confused and very frightened. And I had a sense of utter hopelessness really. Nine years ago, sadly, we lost my mum to cancer. Um, she fought a very good fight and we nursed her until the day she died, really. Um, and in the light of things, she wasn't particularly old when she died, which left me with the feeling of um, being really lost and uh, a feeling that I'd been robbed of something, something that I felt I should have had a bit longer. She died very soon after retirement, and I suddenly found myself um, with all the feelings of a child who would feel abandoned from its parents, which is a bit weird when you get to my age to feel like that. Uh, it felt too soon to lose my mum and my heart was broken. I wasn't prepared at all for life without her. I felt totally bereft and confused and alone and I couldn't see how every, anything would ever be normal again. It felt like the carpet had been pulled out from underneath my feet. And uh, um, along with everything else, really. And I was standing on very, very wobbly ground. I wondered how God could let this happen. We prayed for mum's healing. We prayed for her um, night and day, really, it felt like. And we prayed so hard. We had lots of people praying for her. Um, but sadly, we lost her. You see, even Christian faith gets rocked. And that day, my faith was rocked to the core. I found myself asking some very searching, scary questions. First of all, what's the point? Are you real, God? Do you still care about me and my family? Why? That's a big one. Where is my mum now? How do I go on with life without her? What's the point? See, up to that point, I'd been a Christian for a long time. I had asked Jesus into my life when I was, when I was at a church weekend, when I was very young in my teens, and I met a Christian guy, and we had been in full-time Christian ministry for several years now. Um, and, or in my dad's terms, becoming vicars. <laughs> I thought I'd know all the answers to all the horrible questions. I thought that would, that with the experience of, of being in ministry for so long, would give me all the answers to all those searching horrible questions when I needed them most. And indeed, I've prayed with many and looked after many people who have lost loved ones over the years. Um, so shortly I should know how to deal with these things when they come, when they arise. However, it hit me like a brick. The shock rocked me to the core of my being. And I can honestly say that for a few years, it felt like I was just going through the motions. It felt like I was carrying on with life, but watching from the outside. Didn't feel normal at all. Nothing really felt normal. God was very gracious, however. He waited and he waited patiently for me. And he loved me gently back into life again. And along with my family and my close friends, they also loved me back to life again. One of the passages that became very special to me during that time was Psalm 23, which I know is very dear to lots of people for lots of reasons. You see, the Bible is full of people who are struggling with big life questions, just as we are now. And big problems and big feelings. The Old Testament which is where you can find the Psalms. And that's the beginning part of the Bible if you're not familiar with it. Um, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of books and there's one called Lamentations, which sounds a bit depressing really. Um, but then life can be. Life can be very depressing and very sad and very lonely. The Psalms again in, in the Old Testament you'll find a character called David who was up and down really in his walk, um, in his walk of life, like a yo yo. And yet God loved him. God used him for his kingdom. And more importantly, God didn't give up on him because he found life difficult. 
and situations in his life difficult. That, folks, is exactly where we find ourselves. As a nation, we are, in, uh, in a nutshell, up the creek without paddle. Um, and we're going through the biggest national disaster since World War II. People are fearful for the future. They can't see a way through. Some people are fearful for their jobs, for their, their health, for their families. And it all seems a little bit hopeless. Many of us have lost loved ones or who know people who have been really poorly. And they are in a deep sense of shock. Um, and lament and to a certain degree haven't had a chance to mourn properly yet and I'm sure we'll get that chance eventually when we can all come out of lockdown but my challenge like it was nine years ago to all of us is to hold on to God during this time read and really take in the gentle words of, the, of a loving God who deeply cares about us he deeply loves us and will bring us through this horrible time I think we have to be honest about how we are and take it first to God, not to everyone else, but first to God. Let him be the balm, the healing that you need. Read stories in the, in the Bible of characters who struggled, but were amazingly rescued by a loving father. The Psalm 27 puts it amazingly well. For even if my father abandons me, that's more earthly father, as the psalm writes, the Lord will hold me close. That's Psalm 27. We will find our new normal. We will find it. And um, these will, and it, and it won't look the same. Perhaps it's not a bad thing that it won't look the same. But let's keep close to him who's able. Jesus, the hope of the world. These aren't just words. These, his words bring life to us. And they bring fullness to us. And they bring encouragement to us. Um, and I just challenge you today that just hold on to those words that he loves you and that he cares for you. If you'd like to know more, can I encourage you to tap into our online Alpha course on our YouTube channel, Lighthouse Community Church, or find us on Facebook. There are telephone numbers. There are people who are more than happy to chat with you if you need some help or if you'd like to chat through some issues. I hope to see you soon. Take care.